Hi, I'm Asha from Skate Fresh. Welcome to another Q&A session. Um, I'm slightly nervous because <laughs> I'm doing a solo shoot today. I have my iPhone on a tripod on the saddle of my bicycle. So I just hope there's no wind. <laughs> anyway, um, I got a question last night and I just thought it was such a brilliant question. And I haven't been asked anything like it before. And I thought it was a very clever one. So I just finished a private class and I thought, why not? So, um, Leon King from Instagram, this one is for you. So, Leon said, thank you, Asha, for your videos. They've really helped me skate backwards. Um, he said, unfortunately, however, he fell over skating backwards and he broke his wrist, even though he was wearing wrist protection. And that is really super bad luck, Leon. I'm really sorry that happened to you. Um, he then said, Asha, can you please do a video on how to fall over properly backwards? And I thought, wow, that's a great question. Because, you know, when we teach beginners uh, in their first days of skating, you know, we get them on the grass and we get them in the ready position and we get them falling on their hands and their knee pads. And, you know, that's, that's generally how you want to fall, is forwards onto your protection gear, onto your protective gear. Now, skating backwards, I've actually never taught anyone to fall skating backwards. Um, my focus is to teach everyone to skate backwards really perfectly so that you don't fall. Um, but I want to make sure that you know the safety position to be in when you skate backwards that will reduce any falls. And also, in general, the theory is when you're skating backwards, you're still going to want to fall forwards onto your hands and knees. I imagine, Leon, when you fell over, you went this way, yeah, backwards. Um, and then, to be honest, your wrist guards are not actually designed to to protect your wrist. Wrist guards are designed to stop you getting gravel in your hand when you skid, yeah? Um, nothing, no piece of plastic strapped to your hand can protect your weight backwards in a weird angle. It's just not possible, yeah? So the idea is forwards is gonna give you a bit of protection. Okay, so let's talk about how to prevent falls backwards. So the first thing is choose where you skate, yeah? If you're learning to skate backwards or you're in the first couple of years, then you wanna find a nice place that's smooth and flat and actually go and pick up all the twigs and stones and things that could trip you up, yeah? Um, you know, Leon, you didn't say when you fell over, were you tripped up by something? Did you not see it? Uh, did you start accelerating and freak out? Uh, did you hit your skates together? You know, there's lots of things that can happen when we fall, yeah? So either we make a technical error, like hitting your skates together, or we hit something, which means you didn't look where you were going, which is rule number one. So let's talk about, once you've got your nice, perfect area to skate in, um, the position, so let's imagine I'm going backwards this way. Yeah, the position you wanna be in for safety is the scissor position with your weight on the non-leading leg. So this is my leading leg going this way, and this is my non-leading leg, the trailing leg, okay? So just like as if you were going forwards, you would have your weight on the non-leading leg, yeah? And this would be the leading leg. And when you were, if you were gonna go over a crack or a bump, yeah, the front foot goes over easily and the back leg with your weight has the momentum. So we mirror that, even though it looks like a different scissor, we mirror it with the weight, okay? So this should be the position you're in with your, this knee super bent, yeah? And this leg is kind of straight-ish, yeah? We don't want 50-50. We don't want more weight on this leg so that we hit the obstacle and fall over. Maybe that's what happened to Leon, we don't know, okay? So this is the correct scissor and you may prefer the other side. So whichever way you scissor your feet, this turns your hips, turns your torso, turns your shoulder, this is your shoulder. You cannot choose your shoulder. If you do the other scissor, torso turns, shoulders turn, this is my shoulder. Okay, so you will have a favorite scissor and you will have a favorite shoulder. They may or may not combine. You need to practice both. So when you're skating backwards, Leon, I suggest you get your confidence back by skating backwards and then ready position scissor, cruise. In this position, you can see where you're going. You can check the floor and look for the obstacles, okay? So that's the, you know, you can't learn to skate backwards safely unless you have both those scissors you know, becoming really, really comfortable. When you get too much speed and you have that freak out, oh, I don't want to go faster, scissor, yeah? And um, if you're in the scissor, you're also pretty close to stopping. 
So if you're in scissor and you want to stop going backwards, all you do is step back into T, big distance. Yeah, the other foot will roll in. Yeah, you can do this if you're going slowly. Okay, you can just step backwards from the scissor position. Yeah, and the time you can step further backwards and it will start to slide and become the power slide. So you see how this position becomes the beginning of the T step and the power slide later on. Okay? And obviously, like all of my skating theories, you have to have some good backward stops. And I think those two are the ones to work on. Otherwise, your body is always going to be tense and you're never going to get the kind of flow of backwards. Okay? So if, <laughs> coming back to falling, if you're going backwards and you hit a bump, yeah, then you should fall this way onto your hands and knees, onto your protective gear. If your knees are up, if your weight is over here and you hit a bump, you're gonna go that way and there is nothing you can do about it, yeah? You will hit your arm, your back, your head maybe. So, you know, you have to not have your leg here. Many people scissor on this foot, yeah, when they are cruising. You only need your weight on this foot if you're gonna do the inverted T-stop. So you cruise, 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 cruise. Oh my gosh, I need to slow down a bit. Inverted T, wait here. Yeah, so you need to be fluent in the scissors. Yeah, but this is your one for your preliminary T and power slide. Yeah, when you hit bumps or cracks or rough surface, it's this scissor, not this one, okay? If you're in this position and you hit something, nothing can be done that you're gonna fall badly, okay? So I hope that helps. Um, and really, you know, you have to take backwards very gently and easily and you have to have a nice place to feel safe. Okay, so practice that scissor weight on the trailing leg. All right, I hope this helped. The camera is still on the bicycle. <laughs> Success. So have a great day, everyone. And let me keep having your questions. See you soon. Bye-bye.